Hey guys, a couple quick updates. I uh, have some beer mail and uh, I'm going to show that tasting. So yeah, I got beer mail from uh, J Money, came from Florida. He sent me a stout. I mentioned in one of my videos that uh, I haven't had a good stout in a while and it's not, oh, that's a good hiss. Uh, not typically my style that I drink, but uh, I needed some good stout to uh, to uh, reacquaint my palate, so to speak. So let's uh, let's give this a pour. I'm gonna slow my roll, or I'm gonna have too much head. <laughs> Okay, right off the bat, it was a somewhat gentle pour and uh, got a good brown tan head on there. Um, it's completely dark. Can't even see the bubbles coming up through the bottom. Okay, on the nose, I'm picking up a little bit of chocolate, very faint along with the alcohol, but it's not, it's not, one doesn't overpower the other, it's balanced. I'm not picking up any coffee notes, just a little bit of chocolate. Okay, let's give this a little taste. Okay, there. I picked up a little bit of um, a little bit of coffee note too. So let's. This is really good, by the way. <clears throat> so what I'm getting is, I get a chocolate nose, but a coffee palate. That's kind of cool. Okay, on the mouthfeel, it's not it's not as thick as I would have expected, which is good for me. I don't like it really syrupy. I don't know what you mashed at. I'm gonna guess 154, but uh, oh wait, did you put that on here? No, you didn't. Anyway. I am picking up a little bit of uh, creaminess on the mouthfeel, but it's, uh, I think it's more from the grains than any, uh, any residual sweetness. So, that is a friggin' good beer. Jay Money, man, I, I'm not, <clears throat> I can't tell you if this is uh, the style, because again, it's it's a style that I typically don't make, drink. Actually, I've never made a style. But I'm going to now, because you sent me a recipe. Just let me know what you mashed at. That is really, really cool. Seriously, on that chocolate, it's on the nose, very faint, the alcohol. I'm not getting any hop. I'm not getting any hops at all on the nose. A little bit of back end bitterness. And that's uh, that's about it. Uh, so the chocolate is on the nose, but not on the palate. What I get on the palate is a coffee, real faint. Uh, and then that, that little bit of mouthfeel, it's kind of coating the tongue, it's hanging around a little bit. All in all, man, this is a great beer. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending me this beer. I'm going to enjoy it while I cook supper. Thank you. Jay Money? Awesome. <clears throat> Jay Money, I had to come back and uh, let you know that I'm really digging this beer. I finished off the uh, armor. And this is all that's left. And uh, it makes me want to have another. 
but I wanted to say, as I'm getting down to the bottom, when you see the bottom of the glass, you can tell the beer came out very clear. So, uh, nice job all the way around. A little trivia question for you guys. Which state, per capita, has the most microbreweries? Anyone? Vermont. And that would be a New England state. Uh, the next is Oregon. So you guys are... Okay, so you're, Oregon's number two. Guess who's number five? Maine is number five, and your lovely state of Washington is number eight. Stats don't lie, baby. All right, welcome back. Um, real quick, uh, I also have a how-to make those labels that I've been making. I know, I know a lot of you guys do your own labels, but here's how I do it. And uh, it's, you know, it looks complicated at first, but it really isn't. And uh, the, the next time you, uh, once you set up, the next time you make labels, it's, uh, it's a breeze. So uh, cut out for that right now. Hey guys, um, a lot of you guys have been talking or making mention of uh, <clears throat> the labels that I do. So I want to show you how I do that real quick in this video. Uh, let's see here. The link to the website, which I have saved it's actually just put it in google as beer labelizer oh, you can see that beer all right so you get the free ones without the five dollar payment so, and i've used up pretty much all of the uh, free ones actually i don't think i've used this one yet but i like to put the image in there now which my insidious twin was on this one so i'll use a strong arm one for the pilsner that i'm doing so i'm going to upload an image it's saved in my folder. I took a picture of the ledge out back. So you can move it around a little if the photo's too big, but I kind of cropped the photo ahead of time. And then uh, you just type in here your you know your beer name, beer type, whatever else you want to put in here. Uh, you can also change the colors down here. I'll go with the green. And I'll change that information. All right, so I changed everything and you can see there um, it defaults to 750 milliliters. There's about 30 mLs per ounce so that comes up to about 360 for a 12 ounce bottle and so then you can um, don't use the print use the save as JPEG okay I'll show you that in a minute alright so I saved it to my beer label folder I know my desktop is getting crowded. Alright, and I saved it as a Pilsner. Yeah, it's actually putting it up in the other screen, but let me drag it down here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate the photo, and I'll show you why in a minute. So, go up to here to open and paint image flip rotate by angle, 90 degrees. There you go. Now we're going to save it. And close that out. Now it's rotated. That's good. So we're going to. Alright, open a blank document in Word for Windows. Go ahead and click Page Setup. Uh, insert your margins here. Uh, you may have to play with this a little bit depending on your printer. 0.61 works for me on the top, 0.58 for the bottom, left, keep it at 1.25, 1.25. Uh, some of you may not have this feature, it says gutter. Um, the, the header keep at 0.5, but the footer put it at 0.1. Again, you'll have to play with this a little bit. Okay, so next thing we're doing is I'm going to move this slider over one here, moving it over to about there. Now I'm going to take the cells creating. I'm going to two rows and um, three. Uh, I'm sorry, two columns and three rows. And I'm going to click on it. 
and then grab this corner and drag it to the bottom of the page. Keep going. Uh, this is when you wish you had a bigger monitor. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, see I went too far so it dropped it into the next page. So I'm going to take it and squish it up until it just pops into the first page. There it goes. Alright, so now I have my basic template. So next thing I do is insert picture from file. I go to my desktop where I saved it. Dear label folder, Pilsner, insert. Click inside here, copy, paste, paste, paste. Pushed it off into the next screen. That's okay. I'll show you how to fix that. Paste. Now you have to take this and shorten it a little bit. The photo. See what I just did? Take that and copy it. Paste. 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 Paste and paste. All right. I hope I didn't go too fast. I'm trying to keep this video down to a certain amount. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, these the printers aren't perfect, so you may want to give yourself some white space. So that might mean taking this picture down a little bit to like this to give yourself some white space here. Again, once you set once you set this up once, it's really easy because it's just a template. So I'm going to copy, paste, 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 and paste. So that gives me a little white space. It gives me a little room to breathe on the labels. Now click the cell and then click center text. And that's going to center the label. Do the same for this one. Center text. Now. I know there's a page here and I can't get rid of it, but I'll show you what to do about that. All right, so there you there you go. Now you're set up for the labels, and I'll show you the labels to use, and I'll show you how to print this. And okay, so <clears throat> all right, here we go. Staples. Don't get the every ones, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, these are the numbers. The, the one that comes with a hundred sheets because it's actually cheaper when you break it down and they last they'll last a while because a typical typical brew uh, you know is what 48 labels so, so the six per sheet these seem to peel off a little better as long as you coat them and I'll show you that in a minute so we'll go ahead and print and when you print tell it not to print the second page so current page only and how many copies you want I only want two print. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Yeah, it's going to say one of the margins is out. Just hit S and uh, it'll still print. It should anyway. If it doesn't, you may have to play with the margins because uh, it's specific to each printer. That's it. You don't have to like really douse it. And then I just let it set and dry for a little while. So, bottle labels complete. They're dry enough. <laughs> and uh, I will show you why coating it is very important. And this is why I spray my labels. Uh, can tell that's one of my late Amarillos. They fall off without sticking to the bottle. Of course, uh, that is um, OxyClean. So, but 
those of you who have used uh, these adhesive labels before know that it, <laughs> they, they, uh, they don't come off this easily. So that's why I spray them, guys. Yeah. All right, I hope you uh, got everything on that. I know it was kind of fast, but I'm trying to make this video quick. If uh, you get stuck on anything, pause it, rewind it, whatever. Have any questions, PM below, and I will uh, attempt to uh, resolve any issues, questions you may have about making labels. Okay, Joe Malone, I saw that you've got my uh, beer mail. Great, I'm glad it all made it. I hope Jake got his today too. And uh, Jay Money, wow. That, you know, I hadn't eaten all day and I had been working outside. That stout kicked my ass. Oh my God, I was fucking tipsy after that beer. Uh, then I, of course, I had three more, so made the matters worse. But boy, what a good beer. I will definitely be making that one. Thanks, brother. Guys, I almost forgot to mention uh, the Hokey Homebrew. I do have all those beers, and next Wednesday, a uh, well, you've seen him before in some of my videos. My friend Dennis, my co uh, my co brewer that we brew together sometimes, is going to come over, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get through a few of these uh, on video for the uh, next homebrew homebrew Wednesday. <clears throat> yeah. That ought to be fun. So Wednesday, Hokey Homebrew tasting. There'll be two of us. And I'm sure we'll have to do more on another day. But we'll get through a bunch of them.